Hey, hey, everybody. Every week I have to adjust this camera because Facebook has this new weird preview that the, makes it real tiny. Anyway, hello. Oh, look, my cabinet's not closed. Let's close the cabinet. <laughs> hello. It's still not closed. Something is sticking out, I can tell. It's going to bug me. But anyway, maybe if I stand here, then <laughs> you can't see it. All right, anyway, hello, hello, hello. I hope you guys have had a good week. Um, it has been busy this week with the last chance list, right? And the new catalog demonstrators got to see it. Um, I love it. I will just tell you that. Um, there is a lot in there that I like, so I can't wait for you guys to see the new catalog. It's very exciting. Um, demonstrators get to see it for a few days online and then starting April 1st, which I guess is next Friday, we can pre-order. So hopefully... Not next week, but the week after, I will have things to show you because I'll put my order in on the first and then it'll be here and I'll be able to show you guys the new ink colors and stuff in person. Okay, well, good. It's good to see you guys. Let me um, pull you up <clears throat> on my iPad. Um, if you aren't on my email list, please get on my email list. <laughs> Um, I send, when I have a new class to go, I send the links out to everybody on my email list. And then you don't have to email me and ask me for the registration link. You know, Stampin' Up! has this rule. Uh, let me see, make sure I'm changing it. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, Stampin' Up! has this rule where we can't list links to direct payments for classes. We can only send it through email. So I, that's why I always say email me for the registration link. Um, so I email that out to everybody on my email list first, hoping that that will hopefully, you know, ease the burden where you don't have to email me. Cause I know that's kind of weird, you know, emailing somebody, can I please have a link? But anyway, that's that. And then today, of course, I sent the email out and one of the links was wrong, of course. Um, so I sent a correction. I'm going to show you guys in a little while, in a few minutes, what the ordering screen looks like. Because when I list two classes at once, there's seems to be extra confusion. Um, <laughs> I think we've got it all figured out, but I don't know, we'll talk about it. But anyway, if you haven't signed up for my email list, please get on my email list. Thank you, you guys are so sweet. I should come every week just for, for an ego boost. I mean, you guys are always so sweet. Um, Teresa is asking, did Stampin' Up! post the list that demonstrators can pre-order? Not yet, that usually comes out the day we can order, April 1st. That's because of supply issues. Okay, I wanted to tell you, first of all, that I have some paper pumpkins. If anybody needs a paper pumpkin, this month's paper pumpkin is gorgeous. It is, um, it coordinates with the um, New Horizons bundle in the spring catalog, and the cards are absolutely beautiful. And every kit, so every kit has a, has a, um, hello, what is this called? A stamp set. And it has an ink spot, which mine is not in here. Uh, but this month, I need to put this back on there. This month we have an extra stamp set in the box, this big one. Look at that. That's pretty. If I turn it that way, it will be backwards. So if you would like one of these, let me know. I always have extras. Um, it's nine cards. Two stamp sets, an ink spot, bolt of ribbon, um, and it's a really, really good one. Let me make sure. Okay. And then I also have some of last month's kits, too, left over. These are so stinking cute. These are great, um, easy, super easy cards um, that I think are good. Also, if you have kids that like to make cards, this is a great set for that. You get the ink spot. You get the... Um, stamp set, but this is the Safari kit. I have several of both months. If you want one, email me please, okay? Um, I order extras because inevitably there's always somebody whose credit card, you know how your credit card gets declined for no fault of your own, something happens. Well then if that happens when they go to charge you for your paper pumpkin, you miss your subscription and then it's panic and all that. So I always try to have a few extra. Um, the next thing, oh, okay, I'll tell you this real quick. Today's the very last day for the Seize the Day class. 
Um, if you can see behind me, I've already started cutting, sorting, and I have a f I've cut a few extras if anybody is a, a late straggler, hasn't registered yet. Um, I have um, a few spots. So this registration is open through the end of the end of today. I'll probably leave it open tomorrow. If you'd like to register for the Seize the Day class, let me know. You'll get a quarter pack of DSP, a pack of twine, a pack of rhinestones, and a half pack of sea glass. Although, heads up, everybody who's already registered, the sea glass is still on back order until April 4th. So the kits are going to be late shipping. They'll probably my goal is to have them out um, on April 4th, but they'll probably go out a few days after that. Hopefully the sea glass comes in on time. Sometimes it comes in early, you never know. So there's that. Um, if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday, you know the drill. If you have, go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. The blog post should be up. Hopefully the PDF is there. I seem to screw up a link every week. It's my calling card. I screw up a link every week. I don't know, I just do. But anyway, this is, there and all the links that you need all the information that i'm talking about all the links are there for you on that second page they're at the bottom of the blog post too but the seize the day i took that one off but i think it is on the p it is on the pdf all right i'm going to turn you guys around um i'm just going to run through what we have really quick i think you guys I am thinking about switching over to YouTube Live soon instead of Facebook Live. Um, I don't know yet. I haven't fully decided. It's, it's, there's issues always. And I just keep hearing from my friends that it's a better option. So heads up on that. But until you hear an official announcement, just know that I'm considering it. Okay, so here's the current catalog, right? Um, it expires, and I always mess up the dates. Well, I don't, but I think I do, so I'm just gonna make sure. This is live through May 2nd. So that means the new catalog goes live May 3rd. Um, there are lots of things in here that are retiring. Um, they That means that they are leaving and they are never coming back. Um, I think they went down my wish list last year and said, let's look at Erica's wish list and we're going to retire everything on her wish list because <laughs> literally everything that I loved, like the things I love the most are the things that are retiring. So what I do, there's a link on my blog. I didn't put it up today. I needed, I should have added today's blog post, but there's a link if you go back to yesterday's post to this and you can go page by page on your catalog and i tried to make the font a little bit bigger and i took out the french stuff and you can go page by page what i like to do just so that visually i know what's leaving and if you know if there's something i haven't gotten I make sure i get it and i write a big red r right there one thing you need to know is bundle pricing so let me see if i can find one look this is retiring it's so adorable so 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 cute there are bundle so okay when a bundle comes out how are they retiring what's cooking you guys that is the cutest thing in this entire catalog i cannot believe it i am shocked all right let me let me get to something so i can show you what i'm trying to tell you um why can't i find any of the bundles so when a bundle, okay, here we go. When a bundle comes out, right? Brand new, the first catalog, you can buy the stamps and the dies or the stamps and the punch together with one item code and you save 10%. You'll see on the list that it'll say the bundle is retiring, but not the stamp set and the dies. What that means is that the bundle price is retiring. So like the peaches in the next catalog would be... Um, you could buy the stamp and the dies separately. You couldn't buy them together to save 10%. Does that make sense? So you might see that on the list and be confused. Um, so if there were some bundles that you liked and you've just kind of been, mm, I don't know, dragging your feet, whatever. If you want to save that 10%, make sure that you get it before the catalog runs out. Um, I mean, literally, <laughs> I can't wait to see how many stamp sets I pull out. Um, Hydrangea Heaven. So right here, the bundle price. 
It's carrying over into the new catalog, but it won't be a bundle price. Okay, makes sense. Um, so anyway, that's that. Um, all of the paper is retiring. All of the, the DSP is retiring. Um, very rarely does any of that carry over. Um, seems, seems a lot of ribbon, a lot of ribbon, a lot of embossing folders. Um, some punches, oh, Taylor tag punch, you guys. Strawberry, the ice cream, what? Oh, look at this, I counted, I think there's only three embossing folders staying. One, two, three, okay, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not very many. Look at all those that are retiring. But that just means we'll get new and fun and then we'll forget about them. We won't be sad. Um, and all the host things retire as well. So make sure you've spent some time looking through. There is a handful of things that have already sold out. Everything is while supplies last. If you look on the PDF that I showed you, there's a column that has a discount. So a lot of things are, are discounted and I'm not talking 10%. I'm talking 50%, 40%, 50%. So, you know, like some really, really good discounts. So you really want to look at this and think about it. Um, some things won't sell out, but some things will. And I have no way of knowing what's going to sell out and what's not. Just know that you got to, you know, act quickly um, before things sell out. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, well, since I have this in my hand, this month's tutorial bundle is the Abstract Beauty PDF. This is free with a $50 order. I send them out about once a week to your email that you um, purchased online with, usually. The problem is, is that my email stores your email. So if I just type in your name, it's going to go to directly whatever that email is. I don't, sometimes that's a problem. <laughs> sometimes it's convenient. But anyway, I'll send it to your email. If you don't get it, reach out to me, let me know. Um, next month's PDF is the New Horizons Suite. I just finished my video and my PDF today. I think you're going to really like it. It's really fun. Um, Club Create for April. Our registration period is still open for April. Um, it goes through April 7th. This is $39 a month. You get five projects and about $20 in product and shipping is included, a video and a PDF. Um, the, the tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create has all the details there for you if you're interested in subscribing to Club Create. If you stay for six months, you get um, $25 product credit, which everybody loves. Okay. So let's talk about the classes that I listed today. Here's the problem <laughs> in April for demonstrators. While we're excited for a new catalog, we also have a current catalog where things are, you know, while supplies last. For instance, this paper is while supplies last. So that creates kind of a struggle for us to, um, you know, ensure that we have everything we need for the class kit. I put in orders frequently. I am I put in probably two or three orders a week. And every time I, for, for whatever reason, for other this and that, whatever. During this time, I am ordering as we go. So I will look today, this afternoon at who all's registered and I will order everything I need for those people. And then I'll probably do it again Sunday and probably again Tuesday. And then... If we hit that point where the paper is sold out, then I turn off registration. So that's that's where we lie here with both of these. So just know that at any point I could just turn it off. Now the Shaded Summer class, the Shaded Summer set is in the annual catalog. And then the dies came out last fall as a celebration pick. And I saved all my celebration picks and got a bunch of these so that I could give them to you for free when I did a class. Um, little did I know that they're going to be in the new catalog, which is awesome. But if you buy this class from me, these are free. If you buy the bundle with the stamps, the dies are free. So as always, there's several options. Option one, with this, and I changed the prices from the original prices. I priced it earlier in the week, and then when the retired list came out, a lot of this was on sale. Um, paper, whatever, was on sale. I adjusted, well, actually, none of this is on sale, but the other one for the other class it is. Something in here was 
on sale. I don't remember. I just did the price. Did I not? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyways, the prices are adjusted for whatever went on sale from the original time I priced it. So the video is going to have the wrong pricing. Um, I don't want to have to re-record those videos. So I just put a caveat underneath the description. When you register, the price that you see is the price that it is. Okay. Um, there's also the option to add on this um, embossing folder and some other things. Okay. So shade, uh, shaded summer, that's option one or class one. Okay. There is a PDF option also and a sweet stampede. My downline, they get a discounted kit. Now the second kit is birds and branches. Now birds and branches is on the retired list, which causes me to lose sleep at night. <laughs> Just know that on my end, on my side, it says low inventory. It does not say discontinued yet. I put it in order already. For those of you that have registered, we're good. Don't panic. I will turn it off when the birds and branches sell out. It's low inventory already. So it may be like the end of today. Just know that I'm keeping an eye on it. I don't, I've heard from many of you. Don't worry, I got it under control, okay? <laughs> the fun part of this class is that I've got another celebration item, the special moments stamp set from this past celebration. This is a free option and you can add this to either option one class kit that has the bundle or option two that doesn't have the bundle. I have a bunch of these um, and I want to give them to you for free as part, as, a as part of the class kit. So when you register, please make sure that you look carefully, you read through everything carefully because after you pick which choice you want with the bundle, without the bundle, there's a second part where you can add things on. This is one of the things you can add on and it's free. You got to click that button, okay? And verify your registration. Make sure that you're, when you get the confirmation email that it says, um, because I won't know if you don't click that button. But this class will include two packs of paper. Luckily, these are not on <laughs> the last chance list yet. Um, it includes some other things, no, opal rounds. Uh, I'll try to remember opal rounds, some ribbon, um, six cards, and a PDF, okay? So, Here's the deal, these can ship together, okay, for the price of one shipping. Um, let me show you where that is. So when you go to register, when I send you the link, not the Shaded Summer, but on the Birds and Branches class to go, you scroll all the way down, click the Register Now button, and right here it'll tell you, plus shipping or shipped with Shaded Summer class kit. All right, and you can see that that one doesn't include the shipping cost in it. So make sure you read those clearly. If you think you made a mistake or you're unclear, email me and I will help you. Um, but right here it says special moment stamp set. If you want that, you need to, you know, put the one there so that you get it. Um, okay, so free shipping, there's not like something you click that says free shipping. It's the option you choose. Either ship it by itself or ship it with a shaded summer class. Okay. Clear? Do we understand? Sometimes things are confusing, especially when I have to type a lot of words. None of us like to read anymore. <laughs> None of us want to read. I am guilty. I am guilty. Don't you worry, I am guilty of that too. But it's all in the details. And I do make mistakes frequently. Usually I get it worked out within like the first day. <laughs> so I think, I've, I think we've got everything worked out right now for, for all of that, okay? But I am going to try to check my email more frequent, frequently this weekend, um, especially I've got to watch that low inventory list. Um, but I'll let you guys know. You, it'll be crossed out and say no longer available for whatever option. Hopefully that doesn't happen immediately. But anyway, it's a stressful month. It's fun, but it's stressful. Okay, I'm going to run through a couple more things. The All Together um, products still available. A lot of the blends are unorderable right now, but they're coming in. They're going to, the blends are going to be in the new annual catalog, but this is not going to be in the new annual catalog. Neither is the paper. Um, it's online only. You can find it in the store. Savings and bloom. This is the last time I'm going to tell you about this sale. This is a fantastic sale. Um, all the many, which is right here, by the way, I lost one of my many plates and I literally found it 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to be able to use it today, but I found it 
over by Pepper's dog bed. So I have a feeling, no, I think I just dropped it and I didn't know. But anyway, this is 20% off. I was kind of panicking. Um, also, all of these bundles are 20% off. Now, welcoming window, I don't know, is it discounted? You know, now, now this is included in the last chance sale. So these sales are kind of crossing over. Double check when you buy some things, because I noticed in the sale that some of the things, the dies are like 50% off, but then the stamp set's not, and then the bundle's not. So if you're buying a bundle, go and like check the dies by themselves, see if they're discounted, because it would be, you know, it would save you more money if you, in that case, there was one I posted on my blog yesterday that was like that, buy the, you know, don't get the bundle because it doesn't reflect the discount. It didn't on the store, um, but when I clicked on the dies, they said 50% off. So, so you know, be savvy when you're shopping. Uh, Seascape, All Squared Away, those are all retiring. Quiet Meadow, Wildcats, retiring. Is Anne-Marie here? We got to use it before it retires. Hydrangea Heaven, I don't know where those dies went. Um, all of these are 20% off now. What's cooking? Oh, so sad. Sweet as a Peach, Garden Wishes. Friend, Beauty of Friendship, Pansy Patch, Art Gallery, and Celebrate Sunflowers. Do you guys see my candy in here? <laughs> I was going to make something with it, with those, but I didn't end up doing it. I got to hide the candy from myself. All right, so that sale, Savings in Bloom, ends um, at the end of the month, 31st. Now, you guys have to be go easy on me, okay? Because there's a lot of things to remember right now. A lot of prices, a lot of lists. I can never remember what's on the retired list, what's not. I get confused. I make mistakes. So go easy on me, okay? It's a lot to remember. All right, and then the last thing I wanted to tell you about is the Waves of the Ocean promotion. Um, I posted a, my card that I made for a swap this week. Stuff's gorgeous. The paper, the foil, the rhinestones, the bundle, it's all still available. So make sure you check that out. That goes through May 2nd, through like when the new catalog comes out. Okay, my desk is cleared off. It's a miracle. Um, let's see, am I going to use, I'm going to move this. I don't know if I'm going to use this today or not. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, I'll put it down here. Yes, I'm talking to myself. Okay, if you have not ever joined me for Facebook Friday, welcome, obviously. Welcome to everybody. Um, I already mentioned this, but there is a free PDF over on my blog. You guys checked it, right? Is it up? I, I asked, and then I didn't look at the comments because I have to try to focus um, on what I'm saying. I cannot do two things at once. Um, anyhow, this, is, this should be linked over there. It has the measurements, especially for this project you're going to need, um, and the supply list, in case you're wondering what I used. All right. Um, now, if you like the projects we're making today, I will offer you the Megan Takes for free. It's like a card class that's free with a purchase. Um, I mail them to you for free. I pay the shipping. Everything you need will be in this little kit. The only thing I don't do is the stamping, and today there's no dice, so you will need the Easter Friends stamp set, obviously your ink. And then I'm also using the Daffodil Daydream bundle as well. So you'll need to use, you'll need that or a substitute. You can always substitute stamps that you have, you know, easily interchangeable, but this is what they look like when they come. Um, and if you forget, there's a host code that is attached to this. And I don't send make and takes to orders that don't have the host code, okay? But if you forget the host code, just email me. It's not a problem. Um, the link, if you click the link at the bottom of the blog, of my blog, it'll take you to the store. It'll say, you know, shop now or whatever. And then it automatically uploads that host code in there for you. So you don't have to enter it. But if you just go to the store without clicking the link for my blog, it doesn't do that. Enter the host code on the, um, you know, your shopping cart screen. Now, the only caveat to that, you guys, is if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you'll be getting stamp and rewards, free stuff, and I will still send you the make and takes, okay? Um, I would much rather you take advantage of those free rewards. I use the, the host code to replenish my supply. So if I 
cardstock, ribbon, whatever, then, you know, I can use the host rewards from those orders to replenish, and that's how I order prizes. But if you're spending over $150, I want you to get the rewards, okay? All right, how about prizes? Bragworthy, Marianne McGinnis, and Darcy Dutton. I feel like I have both of your mailing addresses, so unless they've changed, please let me know, all right? Um, I haven't been reading the comments. Okay, good. Thank you, Carrie. The PDF is up. I ask a question and then I <laughs> never go back to look. Um, this week, I'm going to give away Brave Vikings. Um, all you have to do is share the video, either on Facebook or YouTube. Leave a comment. Let me know that you shared. And then you are entered to win. All right. I think we are ready. Is the camera, like, swaying? because I have the fan on. We have turned the corner here in South Texas. It's no longer winter. It is now summer <laughs> and it's warm. And my office is warm. Oh, good news, you guys. I have good news for you. Well, I guess it's not good news for you. Good news for me. The HOA finally approved our house and I spent all week picking out the cabinet, designing all the blah, blah, blah for my studio. Now, it's going being sent off for pricing so it may change because <laughs> as we know right now everything is expensive so but that's very exciting so hopefully this time next year I will be in my new studio I can't wait fingers crossed but you know how it goes oh scary to build a new house okay Easter friends is a really super super cute um stamp set the little critters are cute they're kind of drawn in that what do you call it like it's they're not clear black line images they're you know they have like the little hash marks and stuff um but very very cute the first thing that we're going to do is make a we're going to do watercolor resist watercolor resist is when you emboss an image and then you put water around it and the embossing resists the color um you can go over it right and everything that's not embossed is colored or you can like if I emboss him and I go around him with watercolor, the watercolor isn't going to um, go, you know, if I keep the water on the outside of him, the water's not gonna go, the color's not gonna go over him. So we're gonna do that. But when I, that was my original plan. When I um, started doing this, I was like, you know, this bunny, he needs to be kind of a light brown. And we don't have, our choices for embossing right now are, um, where is my painter's tape? Right here. Our choices for embossing right now are like black, silver, white, clear, you know, metallic, and none of those were quite right. So I went way back in my mind to a long, long time ago when I saw somebody emboss with colored ink. Now, if you've been around Stamping Up a long time, you know that we used to have craft ink, which is our, our white embossing ink. Um, we used to have craft ink in every single color, but we haven't had that in a long time. So your ink choices are Versamark or um, that white, which none of those worked. So we're gonna take our bunny and we're gonna stamp him in both Versamark and in Soft Suede. And then we're going to emboss him with clear. So he looks brown, but he's embossed. Um, funny enough, yesterday on um, Stampin' Up's Instagram account, they shared something from an artisan where she did exactly that same thing. So I was like, wow, look, we're on the same wavelength, me and her. I, I can't remember who it was. Maybe it was him. I don't remember. But I was like, oh, my gosh, we're totally doing that. I don't know. Anyways, I thought that was cool. Okay, so I have taped a full sheet of, car of watercolor paper to just chipboard. I've used um, painter's tape because when you add water, it starts to do all this weird curling and stuff. Um, we're going to cut the sheet down to five inches. So down here, all of this, I'm going to use this space to color pieces that where I can cut out the grass and the flower. All right, the first thing we're going to do is stamp our bunny. And you want to... Ink him up in Versamark real good. You know, get him nice and juicy with a Versamark. 
All right, and then I'm gonna take my soft suede and I'm just gonna do it one time, okay? So it has a layer of Versamark and it has a layer of soft suede. Now, mm, I think I'm gonna do it towards the bottom and I'll use the top for the other. All right, so there he is. He looks like he's brown, right? And we're gonna take clear embossing powder. I've lost my spoon. I don't know where it went. And tap it all in there. And you can see he's kind of cloudy now. And now we're just gonna heat set it. Now I didn't use an embossing, embossing buddy, so I wanna make sure that I think I just brushed that off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's hard to see because it's clear. So you have to, I mean, I guess it's white, but you know, white on white. And then just take a paintbrush or whatever and just make sure you've got all the little specks brushed away, okay? All right. Now, let's grab the heat tool. Comments are disappearing. Leah, you remember crafting? Yeah. It was a big deal when it all retired. It was a big deal. But then that meant also that, you know, that's a lot of inventory for Stampin' Up! to have every ink color in a regular ink and in a craft ink. The other thing, the way that the Artisan Design member did it was her Stamparatus. So she stamped it in like, she stamped it in brown or soft suede or whatever, and then inked it again in Versamark and stamped the Versamark on top of the soft suede, which works, I mean, obviously, just as well. So you can see now he's nice and bright and shiny. And I'm just gonna leave the heat on a little extra because I can't really tell. I wanna make sure it's all set. Now, the one thing I found is that this works for the most part in, in theory, it works. <laughs> but the first time I did it, I got my paper really wet and some of it bled, right? The brown, the soft suede bled. So I redid it and I was more careful to not get super crazy with my water. Um, you have to stay in control. When you have a water painter and you squeeze it like this, you're not in control of it at all. It drips, it goes crazy, it's all over the place. So for, for this initial part, I'm just gonna dip it in some water because I'm too scared to squeeze it and then bleed out, you know, too much water all over the place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stay right, you know, right along the edge of him and I'm gonna prime this paper with some water, just water. And then we're just gonna drop down the color. See, right now I don't, I'm touching the edge of him and I don't see any ink bleeding. So I think just maybe I saturated it the first time way too much, which is how I normally do it. <laughs> you know, more is more. Usually that's my MO, but. Okay, so now it's all nice and primed. So let's get, um, you know what, I have clear blocks. Let's get Pool Party. Now, Pool Party's a pretty light color. So for it to be an intense, um, and I am gonna drop a little bit of water on here like that. For it to be an intense amount of blue, you're gonna wanna do this a couple of times. Let it dry. Um, then do it again. Now, I'm just kind of dropping the ink. I don't want it to be all perfect. I want that, that blue, that um, pool party to kind of run together. So now I feel like I need some more ink. And then we'll do Granny Apple. And you can just kind of drop it and you'll see that color just kind of run together. like that and you can even kind of go like that and get it to run around and because we've created that little you know edge here with the water 
as long as you don't have a ton of water, it's not gonna run all over him. All right, now let's get Granny Apple. It's not on my tray. Where did I use it? Somewhere else. Oh yeah, here it is. It is. Okay, and we'll get some of that. Now this is a darker color, so you're not gonna need as much. See how that just really kind of takes off. Isn't he cute? He totally looks like our old bunny. We called her Bun Bun, but her name was Stella. Both of our bunnies are gone now, unfortunately. Both had issues. <laughs> All right, now, I feel like that's good. Oh, wait, up here. I'm gonna prime that again. I need some green space up here. We're gonna cut this off, so don't worry. Um, I need some green up here for those those little pieces of grass like that and for the stem of the flower okay now you can leave it like that but you guys know I love to add salt to my watercolor so I just can't not do it so a little bit of coarse salt and then that's gonna create some texture. Now, I've done one ahead of time, so let me get it. It's nice and dry. Over here. And it is so weird. Come on, Facebook, show me the comments. There we go. Okay, then you just scrape off, scrape off all that salt. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? See how it created little like texture? Now, if you wanted a more intense color, here's at the point where you would do that again. Lay down some water, add some more, you know, um, pool party, and then let it dry again. Just depends on how intense you want that color. Um, I did try embossing him with black embossing powder um, at first, and I didn't like it. I mean, I guess it would be okay, I guess. My bunny was black and white, but I don't know. I wanted to try this softer, kind of softer look. All right, so now we're going to cut this down to three and three fourths by five. So let's cut off a little bit down here at the bottom. And then cut that off at five. And we're going to use that for the grass. And we'll cut some off of this side. Actually, I think we need to do more on this side. Um, you don't have to do the grass up on the top like that. I just didn't want to tape down two pieces. You can obviously have a second piece that you, you know, watercolor. All right, so now, now we're gonna stamp the um, Happy Easter. And this is a textured paper and I'm nervous because I did all that work that I'm not gonna stamp it right. The font is very light, it's very narrow and I'm worried that I'm not, it, you know, I just feel like if I use my Stamparatus, it's gonna be better. I'm gonna have better control. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're actually gonna use the Stamparatus twice here um, today. Let me see how this looks. Do I need to, nope, I need to lower that. Um, I'm also gonna use stays on black here. Stays on black is a little more intense black. It's darker. Does that look good from where you guys stand? Um, it's a little bit darker than Memento. So I'm gonna use stays on. And I'm actually gonna stamp it, stamp it a couple of times. Again, this font is just really fine and light. And so I feel like it needs a little more intensity. So I'm just gonna do it twice or three times. Okay, happy Easter. Now let's cut our little flower and our grasses. Um, I think I can use this and I think that my grass dies, I just had them 
and I didn't pull them back out. Okay, hold please. Where did I put that basket? On the floor. <laughs> oh my goodness. A little bit of a panic there. I just used it to make a video. All right, these are the Horizon dies. And I'm gonna cut, I, I only want that little bunch. I don't need that long line right there. The other set of dies that we're using are the layering hugs. I'm just using that little flower right there. And I'm gonna kind of angle it so that the that top part's up there at the white so I can add some color to it. Um, those layering hug dies are retiring. The whole bundle is retiring, all of it. So if you like that set, make sure you get it. All right, there we go. Let's see if it pops out. Mm. All right, now we need another piece of grass. I kind of like this down here, this weird kind of funky. Let's do it like this. You never know what you're gonna get when you do watercolor. It never is gonna look the same. Each time is different. And I like when the water kind of pools a little bit and dries, it leaves some nice texture. Alrighty, there we go. Now we're ready to put this together. We are going to start with our grass. So let's just cut that and cut that. And we're gonna to use Tombow. I've been using the heck out of my Tombow lately. And we're gonna do a little bit like that. And then we'll do this one like that. And then, oh, you know what? I should have done this because now it's gonna, I'm not gonna have time to dry, but that's okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of Flirty Flamingo and where's my water right here and just add a little bit of color to that obviously i need to give it time to dry so it's not going to go on right now all right so now all we're going to do is mat it on a piece of granny apple green. Oh, sending hugs is already gone, Deb. Wow, that's fast. I think you're right, I think I did see that. All right, and I think this is the first time I've actually even used it, which is sad. All right, dimensionals and a pool party card base. And then last but not least, how about some brushed, what are these called? Um, brushed brass butterflies. I don't have my take your pick tool, so we're just gonna use the scissors. These are so cute. And then we would put his little flower when it's dry right there. So cute and fun. I think um, I think watercoloring is very relaxing. I, I really enjoy it. What do you guys think? I think you should give that technique a try and see how that watercolor watercoloring with colored ink works for you. All right, good. Now, I've got two 3D projects for you today. All right, let me move this one and let's see which one. I think we'll do this one first. Okay, now here's our little box that we're gonna make. This cute little box and you can see inside there's a little, well, I keep wanting to call it a duck, but it's a chick. These things, you guys have seen these, they have, what do they have? They have sheep, they have bunnies, they have, which I, doesn't it look like a duck? but no, it's a chick, all right? So we're gonna use the chick stamp. Um, these are everywhere. I think I've seen them in Target. I've seen it at Walmart, in our local HEB. They're everywhere. So I've designed a little, a little box for it. Now, at first you might think the box is complicated and the first time you do it, you kinda of have to pay attention to what you're doing. But then after that, it's no problem. All right, I promise. Let me grab my Simply Scored. We're gonna use, um, 
Miss, uh, hello, not Misty Moonlight. This is Balmy Blue. Balmy Blue. Um, I wanted to use this really cute paper, this plaid, from the Abstract um, Impressions paper. And uh, is that what it's called? Abstract Beauty paper. It's the one that looks like that on the back. So that's Balmy Blue. Okay, now remember these measurements are over on the PDF today, right here. You need a piece of Balmy Blue that is four and a half by nine and three fourths. And we're gonna score the long side at two and a half, three and three fourths, six and a fourth, seven and a half. There's a lot of measurements today. Seven and a half, eight, nine and a fourth. Okay? Then turn it and score it at one and a fourth and three and a fourth. Okay. So now when you look at this, you'll see one end has these skinny tabs right here. And then this side has these larger sections. Um, let's burnish all the lines first because that's going to make it easier. Once we cut it all up, then it takes longer. So go ahead, grab your bone folder, burnish all the lines. Now, by the way, there are clean recordings of each of these projects. That just means I pre-recorded it individually so that they each have their own video over on YouTube. And uh, if you want to come back, especially for this one, I have embossing powder all over the place. Um, especially for this one, you'll, you'll probably need to rewatch it. Okay, here we go. Ready? I have, I have my uh, sample over here. I want to make sure I don't screw it up. <laughs> I made a template and then I'll just keep it so that I always remember how to make the box. You know, once you have a template, it's super easy. All right, so we're going to cut off um, these two tabs and these two tabs. We're just going to cut them off. Okay, just boop, 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 like that. I kind of went far into that score line. <laughs> I hope that's not a problem. Ah, and then right here and right down the score line. Okay, now for the next section, we're going to cut these. And then we're going to cut the whole tab. Well, I didn't cut that very straight at all, but that's okay. I can fix it. We're going to cut the whole thing at an angle. All right. We're going to start here at the bottom part and go up to the top, corner to corner, bottom right corner to the top left corner. All right. So now that's what it looks like. Okay. Now you need to bring your simply scored back over and we're going to add a half inch a score line to um, and half an inch on either side of this score line because that we need to make these tabs right here the same size as that tab. So this is a cutting guide. It's not a scoring. It's not going to be a score line. It's just a guide for you to cut. So this is at three and a fourth. So that means you're going to want to make a line at three and three fourths, stopping at that triangle. And then you're going to, oops, hello. Nope, don't turn it. This is one and a fourth. So at three fourths, you're going to make a line like that. All right. Now down here, we're going to cut off these. Hold on, hold on. I have to look. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cut all of that off. Remember, we made a, that's a cutting line, not a scoring line. So now all of our tabs are the same half of an inch. Cut off these squares right here. And I'm going to make all of the tabs at an angle. So I might as well just, when I cut that off, cut it at an angle like that. All right. So angle, angle, off. And then we're just going to trim all of these. And you can cut the score line and then snip, snip the corners. Or you can just do like a little V around the score line. See how I did that? Sage, you just, you know, one little step. I did a really poor job right here. Hold on, let me fix that. There we go. Okay. Same thing over here. V and a V. And a V and a V. And then, last but not least... This one right here. Now, your piece, all your cutting is done. So I have a little template right here that I just keep now 
You can write on it what it is, and then you just copy it when you're doing it, okay? All right, so we need to make the little seat that the chick will sit down in. And I played around with a bunch of my dies to see what would work best. Um, he's kind of a weird shaped critter on the bottom. It's not really an oval, it's not really a circle. I mean, I guess he's an, well, I guess he's an oval, but he sits kind of, I don't know. I found that this die right here, this is from the Ornate Frames dies, works the best. Um, play around with, you have an oval, would work probably a scalloped oval would probably be the best, but I don't have a scalloped oval. So I'm gonna put that down right there in that first section. Let me fold these in so then I get torn off and we'll run it through. Like that. And there we have it. All right, now we need to adhere it. And let me show you how it's gonna go. So you're gonna fold all of these in and up and over like that. So you kind of have to look at it to see exactly where you need your adhesive. Tear and tape is good for this. So that's what I'm gonna do. I need to put tear and tape on, the, on these first two tabs right here on the inside. Then we also need a little bit of tear and tape on the outside of those tabs, okay? So now, where did my little scissors go? First thing I'm gonna do is the little tabs, and they're annoying. I, you know, tearing tape that small is annoying. So maybe if you think it's annoying like I do, use Tombow. <laughs> All right, so press that in to the sides. Then, peel these off. Come on, tear and tape. Don't misbehave. There we go. And like that. Now, that's just gonna kinda sandwich over those sides. You guys following, see that? So now we need to put some tear and tape right here. You can do all the tear and tape at once if you want, but I'm just trying to go step by step. And then fold that down. So basically that's a little box, just a little bitty box. And then we're folding up the back side and pressing that in. Okay. Now it looks kind of like a rocket. It's getting ready to take off. So we want to, <laughs> we want to adhere those. And so we just need a little bit more adhesive. And I'm gonna put some right there and right there. And adhere that like that. And that like that. And there is your box. See how that goes? <laughs> I don't know how my brain came up with that, but it works and he sits down in there like that. I always like to put a little dimensional down at the bottom just to hold them, whoa, just to hold them in place. So in transport, they don't come loose. Okay, he's cute, right? All right, now let's put on our DSP, a little piece of DSP right there in the front. And you can do several things to keep it closed. You could use a magnet, one of those little button magnets. You could put, you know, if you put like this right here and then you could tuck that behind it, you could do that. But I'm gonna use this ribbon. I love this Just Jade ribbon um, that is retiring. Just Jade and gold. And I'm just gonna tie it in the front and that way it just tucks down into that ribbon. Thanks guys. <laughs> Sometimes I can think of something and actually make it happen. Other times I can't make it happen. This one I kept thinking how I wanted it and it really took some, some thought power 
and I got it. And then I was at HEB, our grocery store, two nights ago, and I saw even more, and I was like, oh, I want to make a lamb, and I want to make a bunny, and but we're going to stick with the chick. Okay, real quick, let's finish this up. We have got a basic white um, square, uh, <laughs> basic white circle. We're going to stamp the chick. And then we're going to cover him up with um, vellum. So I'm not going to get real, you know, persnickety about my coloring. I'm not going to worry too much. I think I will add in a little bit of dark where all those little sketch lines are, those little, you know, shadow. That's kind of where you want to add in some more color. A little pale papaya, which I called peekaboo peach again on the video yesterday. Man, I can't teach an old dog any tricks, that's for sure. Now, we're going to stamp that Happy Easter. This is the same stamp we did on the card, but we're going to do it. We're going to split it up so it fits on this circle. And with the Stamparatus and the Vellum Circle, it makes it really, really easy. So, let me, let me get adjusted here. All right, so we know where it's going to stamp, right? First you want to stamp it and then you want to clean it off. Let it dry for a second. Take your uh, post-it tape and cover up the Easter. Now I'm going to take my vellum and I'm going to, I can see right through it. So I know exactly where I'm going to stamp. So I'm going to take, uh Oh, I was too close to that one. Almost had a crash. I'm gonna lay that right there like that. And we need the stays on again for vellum. Vellum is a slick surface, so stays on is better for vellum. All right, oh, oh, did you see that? I almost forgot to take the tape off. Happy, okay, so there's the happy. Now again, clean it. Give it a second to dry. While it's drying, I'm gonna move this over here so I can see where the Easter goes. This time I'm gonna use this magnet up here and we will um, tape off Happy, ink up Easter, take the tape off and stamp it right there. And perfect, look at that. Stamparatus, man, it just never quits being amazing. All right, now give it some time to dry. It will dry, um, but it on vellum, it's you know still slick, and I smeared the one I did on the video yesterday. So to layer all these up, I put stamp and seal right on my little chick there, and then laid this down. You can't see the adhesive. Sometimes stamp and seal will work fine, but on dark colors, you can see it through, but on that, it worked really well. All right, and then this is a Just Jade stitch, or not stitched, scalloped circle. I wish we had stitched. And then we'll put it right there. That paper is so cute. It reminds me of something my little brother had when we were kids. I don't know, a shirt or something, I don't know. And then there you go. Isn't it cute? That's a new original box I've never made before. Very excited about it. All right. Now, I will grant you that is a little complicated. But again, make yourself a template. Because once you have the template, man, you just, you know, cut away. And liquid glue might be faster than tear and tape if you wanted to make several. I don't know. But I hope you guys will give it a try. All right. So there is that. We have one more. Let me grab it. We have made this basket before. I love this basket. I learned this two years ago at my retreat, my last in-person retreat that I had from Cindy. I don't know if Cindy's on here. Um, she was making them and they were so cute. She had like a whole bunch of them on her desk and they were just so, so cute. So that's what we're gonna make. We made them two years ago and I think it's time to make them again. This is a really good way to use up some of your pattern paper. You can go through, which I think is what, if I remember correctly, that's what she did. She, all of hers were different patterned papers. Um, so, you know, they don't all have to be matching. Just go through and find 
pastel colored papers. And then we're gonna do the little duck, which is, I think, the cutest image in the whole set. All right, let's make the basket first. It's, it's easy, I promise. It's easier than that, that previous one. Where did I do the simplest board? Okay, three and a half by three and a half. Did I write that on the paper? Suddenly I have no memory of writing that down on, I did, but I didn't say what to score it, did I? All right, I was typing this up while watching TV last night. Three and a half by three and a half balmy blue. You need to add in there, score at half an inch on all four sides. Do you guys ever do that? Mindless things? So just half an inch <clears throat> on all four sides. You know, like driving and you get there and you're like, I have no memory of getting here, <laughs> of driving here. It's scary. The older I get, the more I do that. All right, so let's burnish those lines again with your bone folder. Another freak out yesterday moment is I lost my daffodil die. <laughs> so on the clean video, I'll say, you'll see me say, let's, and then you cut it with your die. And then cut to, it's already cut out because I had to fussy cut it. I don't know what happened to the die, but then I found it. It was on a separate, um, it was on a separate magnet card in my die set. I'm not sure what I was doing. All right. So just a little bit of adhesive on the corners like that. You can get your little clothes pens to hold it. Tear and tape. I like tear and tape on big spaces. I don't like using tear and tape on little corners like that. I don't like it. But if you use your Tombow, your liquid glue, just get these little clothes pens and they can hold it closed like that. All right. So while we wait for those to dry, here's the paper. I'm using the peaches. You're a peach, DSP, um, three by 11. And I'm gonna put tear and tape. This is how I like to use tear and tape, with big, long pieces, big, long areas. Put tear and tape along the bottom, or stamp and seal, stamp and seal plus, and then on one short side, okay? Go ahead and peel that off. And peel that one off like that. And now we'll pretend like we gave it enough time to dry. You wanna start not with the end that has the sticky on it. That's the last part, okay? So we're gonna start right here in the middle and we're just gonna go slowly and we're gonna wrap it around the bottom edge of this box. Wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. And then when we get over here, we're going to press that adhesive in right there on the edge. All right. Now, for these pieces, we could do tear and tape also, but I'm gonna make it easy today if I can find my stamp and seal. It's on the other tray, let me grab it. And we're just gonna run it all the way down like that. I'm not too worried about the adhesive strongness on this because it's just a decoration. But I have found that my Stamp and Seal is very strong. Stamp and Seal Plus, I don't know. I, Stamp and Seal Plus and I go, we, we do battle. I know some people feel that way about Stamp and Seal. I think it's a matter of preference. I really need to give Stamp and Seal Plus a try again. We had a breakup, Stamp and Seal Plus and I. All right, so there's that. Come back again. I'm trying to put all the seams on one side. I can't see any comments. Um, the dispenser on oh, tear and tape. Everybody always asks me about those. Somebody sent those to me as a gift from somebody tell me it's an Etsy store, husband and wife, but unfortunately the husband has passed away. I don't know if the wife is still doing the thing, the things. Somebody tell me, I can never remember. Um, it's just made on a 3D printer is all it is. 
but somebody, you guys are always sending me gifts. By the way, oh, I forgot to show the gift that I got yesterday. Kathleen sent me, I'll show it next week because the card is crazy cute. Kathleen sent me a Buffalo check bag. I think it was Kathleen who, wait, wait, I may be saying the wrong name. I got several things yesterday. I have to double check. Um, the bag is crazy, crazy cute. It was right here. What did I do with it? It's a big bag and it's going to be perfect for the lake. Here it is. Hold on, now I have to make sure. No, it was Joyce. Oh, Joyce, not Kathleen. Joyce, I'm just stopping to show you guys. Look at this bag that Joyce sent me. It is huge. Look, it's huge. It's turquoise on the inside. It's going to be perfect for the lake. I'll show you the card she made me next week because the card is so cute. Okay, now here's two schools of thought on that seam back there. That can be the back of your basket. Or what I'm going to do is we're going to make it the front of our basket and we're going to put the, the tag um, over the seam. Crafter solution. Yes. Oh, okay. So Carol says cr she's going to start the store up again. Her husband passed away. So, you know, I mean, obviously there's been a disruption in their life. So she is going to start the store again. Good. Crafter solution. It's on Etsy. All right, now let's do some stamping. We're almost done. I'm going over time. I knew I would today. We need the Memento ink pad. And, oh my gosh. And we're going to stamp the little duck. He's so cute. Which one do you guys like the best? The duck or the rabbit? I mean, or the chick. I mean, maybe the chick's your favorite. But I would think that probably most people like either the duck or the rabbit the best. They're very cute. Okay, Daffodil Daydream. Some adhesive on my paper. Now again, we're just gonna do a real quick color because I know you guys are probably like, you're over time, Erica. We're tired of listening to you. Daffodil Delight, light. And I think I mentioned this earlier, the artist who drew this gives all these little shadow marks Cross hatching, I think maybe it's called. No, maybe not. I don't know. My mom and my daughter are artists and they would be able to tell you, but I don't know. So that kind of gives you an indication of where you need to put some dark, darker color, especially like this. Whoops. That end is messed up on my marker. I can't use it. Um, too much ink flicking, I think. <laughs> um, so I like to add a little dark. This is like, you know, the sun would be coming from this way. We'll add a little bit of dark there, a little bit there, like that. Do, do, do. Now, isn't he cute? Now, I'm going to take my light daffodil delight. I mean, you have to use daffodil delight on the daffodils, right? I mean, I guess you could use saffron if you wanted. Um, I have a whole Facebook Friday on this daffodil daydream. So if you need some tips, some ideas, on how to color it, go back a few weeks and you'll find it. Um, I think there's four or five projects with some videos showing you exactly how I color it. Today, I'm just doing a real quick, fast, bang up job. Actually, it looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, now, you guys, do you ever do this? This is Granny Apple Green. When I used it the other day, the lids were on the wrong markers. So the dark lid was on the light marker and the light lids were on the dark marker. Some of them look so close it's hard to tell. Do you guys have that problem with some of them? Um, there's a few in particular that I do that with. Let's color that down there. Okay, so there's that, there's that. We're going to stamp the sentiment. The sentiment is from Daffodil Daydream as well. We have several Easter sentiment sets. The tulip set, remember the two, not the new tulip set, the old tulip set that's in the annual catalog has a great Easter sentiment. And I, I wanted to use it, but I could not find it. I don't know what happened to it. It may be in my box, my retired box from last year, even though it didn't retire. There's also, oh, there's a stamp set that's retiring, you guys, that I use constantly. And it's called A Wish for Everything. 
it oh i forgot to color his little feet um if you don't have a wish for everything it's the most expensive stamp set we have i believe or the second most expensive stamp set we have um it was the one i kept recommending to add to your starter kit during celebration it is a good 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 set it covers a multitude of occasions but anyway that has an easter has two i think two different easter stamps on it too so if you're uh, there's others too there are others um i was looking yesterday there was quite a few okay let's bring this over now you guys i'm only making you fussy cut one time today I went easy on you, you know? I mean, I know there's some of you who get like, Erica, enough with the fussy cutting. But today, just once, you're welcome. We're gonna fussy cut that duck. <laughs> now I have a bonus project. Actually, I have two bonus projects for you next week. One of them has a video. It's another little Easter basket and it has fussy cutting on it. And then there's a card too. And it has fussy cutting on it too. Sorry. Sometimes you just have to fussy cut. Sometimes you do. So just get your little scissors, your little paper snips, go around. He's got some little spiky hairs on, on the edge of him. Don't worry about those. Just cut them off. Nobody is going to know any different. Just kind of stay along the outside edge. Next week, you guys, we are doing... Um, Special delivery, is that is that what it's called? The truck, the little truck, delivery truck. And then after that, I don't know. We, you know, we've got a limited time because once May gets here, I'll switch over to the annual catalog with all that new stuff. I would like to do, I love the little set with the ladder. I don't know the names of these things. You guys know what I'm talking about. I would love to do that set one Facebook Friday. I would love to do, you know, I really should have done that as a class, but I didn't ever get to it. Okay, I've lost, oh, here we go. Um, also, there's a set towards the back that has some animals. I can't remember what it's called. All right, this is a balmy blue circle, largest circle die. We're gonna put the daffodils right there. Then let's put on our Easter blessings. That punch is retiring, you guys. What the heck? How dare they? This needs to go over this way. How dare they? I didn't even look at the punches in the new catalog yet. I need to go look at them. To see if there's something that's going to save me. All right, now I don't like these stems down here, so let's just Give it a little cut, boop. Okay, now remember the seams of our basket? The ladder set, you like the ladder set? Okay, that'll be then next. Kimberly, I did cut fussy cut real fast just because I know we're over time. And see, you can set that down and it covers up the seams. Oh, oh I did this yesterday too, darn it. Okay, put it on the circle. The scallop circle first and then put it on the basket i did the exact same thing yesterday in the video and wait wait there's more there's a bow oh you guys this ribbon is leaving bumblebee yellow is leaving i love the new in colors i know that some of you are like what the heck three three blues why are there three blues but you know you really have to look at those blues is not similar at all one is a turquoise which you know not really a blue blue one is a purple i think more than a blue and i think i'm gonna make you guys fall in love with them so don't you worry <laughs> okay we did it we're done you guys what do you think do you like the easter friends it's very cute i wish it had dyes but it doesn't so this is what we made today we made these three baskets we made this cute little bunny card, watercolor resist. We made the chick holder. I think of Angie every time I say chick. And then next week, I've got a bunny card for you. Pretty simple if you want a more simple Easter card. This one, it's got those that stitched. Ooh, that stitched greenery die. Is that retiring? I don't remember marking it. Somebody tell me. I don't remember. 
The stitched greenery, that is a really good dye. The message dye is retiring too, the big one with all the, the little, you know, labels. Mm, that's a really good one. All right, and then on Monday, I'll have a video for this basket. With those tulips, why have I why have I not played with those tulip dyes yet? They are amazing. Um, they're actually much easier than they appear. When you cut it out, it actually has all the pieces. You can kind of fold them all in. It's really cool. So be looking for a video on that on Monday. I promise I won't forget like I did last week or this week on Monday with that flag project. It's not carryover. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> I love that die. It's really good. Okay, you guys, thanks for joining me. Remember, if you want these projects, not, not these. If you want these three make and takes free, I am happy to send them to you next week. Just make sure you get your minimum $35 order in by Monday at midnight. Order anything you want. Shop that retired list, that last chance list. There are some really good deals in there. There are some amazing things that are leaving. Um, you can buy anything you want. Just make sure you use that host code unless... You guys can finish the sentence for me. Your order is over $150. Don't use a host code. You get free stuff plus this. Okay? You guys have a wonderful week. Thank you um, for everything. And I will be back next week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye, guys.